Hey guys, again, I wanted to show you this press that I got these parts for. I got the automatic primer system for. This was a RL450. Um, it's still considered somewhat an RL450, but it functions like, an R, like a 550 press. Um, I just need to change out this frame. What's cool with the new frame is this whole block here you'll be able to take out just like with the um, square deal B you can interchange with each caliber like this one here is a 40 caliber or no this is a 44 so I have the complete kit in this shelf and then I have one for a 3080 I have one for a 40 and inside now is a 45 alright so now this functions great I mean the only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't like this one here when you actually pull the handle down when you bring it back up you can see the turret goes around to the next stage this one you have to manually turn it which is fine because if you make a little error <coughs> you, it just sits in the same spot so you could pull the pin out pull the case out check it out dump the powder do whatever you have to do measure the powder and you don't have to worry about it cycling ahead on you so that's great or if something jams up you don't have to worry about it cycling and jamming up on you so it's, it's kind of cool that it's manual but now it kicks the cases out which is great it's got this little addition here that I wasn't even aware of that actually holds the case into the the spot here before there was nothing that held it this thing here has nothing that holds it so when I feed a case in here, I actually got to keep my finger there as I line it up to make sure it lines up. All right, so I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to line it up. This is also a Swager. It's got the Swager uh, 600 by Dylan. <clears throat> what this does, this is great. If you get a military brass and it has that little ring in it, you won't be able to fit a primer into it. So what this does is you, after you prop, pop the primer out, you put it into the Swager and it smushes it and expands it so that the primer fits which is great so I'm gonna set this up really quick I don't even separate my brass anymore I just keep them all the same and uh, what I do is I check it out as I'm putting it in to see if I need to swag it alright so you should be able to see both alright this is cool now before I was using WD-40 but I'm gonna start using this RCBS, RCBS case, case lube with a pad when I get the pad but for now on, for now, I'm just putting it on my finger and this usually works for about four or five cases at least. Sometimes a little more. But I'll just do that, rub it a little bit. Then I'll use my pointer finger more in the back of my finger so I don't put any more lube onto it. Go up there, deprime it. This one is a military, nope, this one isn't a military brass so we'll go ahead and we'll prime it. Go to the next stage, pick up another case. This one here is already deprimed, but it has a military brass fitting. So I'll just lube it a little bit. You've got to lube it because otherwise it'll get jammed. I actually had one jam with my nice new um, die, and I ended up scuffing it a little bit, taking it out. Maybe I'll make a video and show you how I took it out. I built my own little um, stuck case remover. All right, so you go up as if you're priming, as if you're uh, depriming it because that'll resize the shell then you pop it on here just like that and bam like that now that's if you can see it if it's zooming in I don't know if it is or not but it smushes it in so now the primer will fit which is great and you, I usually like to sit there and make sure it's lined up just finagle a little bit to make sure it's lined up so it doesn't go in there roughly then you go to the next stage there's powder in that one Check this one. This one's another military brass. So we'll put that one in there. And at this point, this is when you put the bullet in. I'll just make I'll make one more after this. I'm using hollow points here. They're uh, 52 to 53 grain. So, bam! Another bullet. Actually, what I'll do is I'll make that one only. I'll swig this one to show you this demonstration one more time. Bam. Two seconds. Pop it back on there. Line it up a little bit. Prime it. Come to the next stage. This is what's cool about it, too, because it's not manual or it's not uh, automatic. You could just do this and then go right back to the stage. You know, the other one was a pain in the butt to have to cycle it back over. Check this out. 
this checks to make sure it's going to fit into your barrel it checks the size of it too so probably after I resize after I refire these again I'm gonna to have to end up trimming the cases because they're getting close to too long and actually what you should do too is grab a paper towel real quick because like when you put it in your barrel too you don't want to have I wouldn't want to have that stuff all caking up in my barrel so you just take this drop it in and watch how nice it goes in there boom all the way down you know flush it's nice so it's perfect add another one to my completed round box all right that's it that's all I wanted to show so